Hi, today I'm going to try and do a, a threadless buzzer. And the first thing you want to do is to put some UV varnish on the, the hook. This is so you can colour it because the, the ink from a sharpie doesn't stick to the, the hook itself very well. But with this you can get a decent amount on. Just set that. So I'm going to do this one with the yellow, the yellow sharpie. This is just the base colour. Okay. Okay. So we've got some olive flaxy floss now. You can use whatever type you want. And just. Do like a jam knot, same as you would as if you were putting thread onto the hook. Just twice over there, and then start doing your rib. And you keep these as close together as you want. But I want a bit of the yellow to come through on this one, so. And just bring it up to where you want to put your cheeks in. And then you want some little touch of UV varnish. On there. Put a little bit down and onto the body as well. So just set that. Now that'll hold everything in place while you get the flexi in for your cheeks. Okay, you let go of that now. Now we're going to put a piece of white flexi floss in. The cheeks, just bring that back. Put that in position. Yeah, and then start building the head. position there and then we're going to put the cheeks in and get it in doesn't want to play the ball that one To the top there, and just put one in front, and another one behind. Now, this is where it gets a bit tricky. You have to hold on to your flexi floss, and then get some more UV varnish, or UV resin, I should say, and pop it on there. Now, this is going to hold everything in place. It's going to hold everything in place. Yeah. Okay, I'll snip that off. Just give it a little stretch. Same with these. Just stretch them slightly before you cut them. Yep. thing a coat of resin.
Hit it with your torch, set it. This is much more fiddly than it is doing a normal buzzer. And then trim the tag off. And then stretch the tag and cut it. And then it should, when you cut it, it should retract back into the body. And that is it. Now you can put little orange dots on the cheeks, same way as you normally do. But at least that gives you an idea. Okay, so I hope that helps. Okay, thanks for watching. Okay, so on this one, uh, we're going to tie a blood worm. Uh, now, I've done exactly the same process as before. Where I've put the UV resin on the hook and set it, and then this time I've coloured it with a black Sharpie. Uh, and I've got some red flexi floss. So I'm going to just tie it on the same way as you would do if you were putting thread on. Just by over wrapping your tag. Stretch the tag out and work your way all the way down the body. This method's far quicker than the first one. You can really rattle them out using this method. Just take it down as far as you want to take it. Okay, I'm just trying to twist the flexi floss because this is a square one. And uh, I don't particularly want square ribs. Okay, so keep the tension on for your first first wrap, and then just come up and just make your rib, easing the tension off as you go up. Then when you get to there, which I like to do my heads around about about a third of the whole of the body. So I'll start there and just put the tension back on and just wind up to the head and we'll come back down and then back up again you can't get as much detail into it doing, doing it this way but like I say you can, it's far quicker Okay, so when you get to there, just keep the tension on. Now this is the tricky bit. You've got to keep all your flexi floss and get the top off your the resin jar. Right, so just put a bit on there. Right, that's just put enough on for now, just to hold it. So basically, all you're doing is just sealing it at the minute. Okay, set that with your torch, and that'll stop it all coming unraveled. Okay, I'll let go of that now. And I'll trim that off. Stretchy flexi floss. Trim it, and it'll disappear back into the the body. Now your tail, you can the tag end here. You can actually leave that on for a blood worm if you want to. But I'm going to take mine off. Do the same thing, stretch it and then cut it. And then we'll give it a coat of flexi fluff, uh, sorry, a coat of UV resin. You could actually just varnish it at this stage. You don't need to put this on. Your ribs are spread out properly. And if you want to keep the shape of your ribs so they're, they're prominent, just rub your your bodkin or whatever you want to call it in between the ribs, and that will make them stand out. Okay, right, we'll set that.
Uh, if you notice on pictures of real corona mids, they've got a, a lump that hangs down under here, on this bit, which is, uh, I believe it's the wing case. I could be wrong. I probably am. But I like to recreate that. You just put a dab of UV resin underneath. Set it. Then you just keep adding to it. Okay. And just set that with the torch. Then I'm going to mark that with a marker, with a brown marker this time. Just there where, which is where I've built that up. You can colour this whatever colour you want, really. The variation. It doesn't show through that much, it's only when you get the, the light on it. Okay. A little bit more resin. see that through there it's just got a little bit of brown tinge on th coming through that resin there and that is it now it just needs a coat of varnish and it's all done okay so I hope that helps and uh, thanks for watching